She was a kind of a genius of creating identity. This is the Armada portrait of Elizabeth I. And this is Daniel Lismore. I think my first memory of seeing Elizabeth I was at school. I remember just seeing her and King Henry VIII going, I want to look like that. <laughs> you know? Everything about Elizabeth in this portrait is carefully constructed, from the lace ruff framing her face to her narrow corseted waist. I personally take inspiration from her silhouette. There's certain shapes here that are just so bold and beautiful. The architecture of the outfits deletes her gender almost. Elizabeth is also holding an ostrich feather fan, traditionally the symbol of the Prince of Wales, the male heir to the throne. So in this image, she is both a queen and a prince. Looking back through history, gender binaries have always been troublesome. Maybe she started a revolution back then and we're just picking up now. I would say that she was a great representation of uh, the non-binary. The Queen rarely sat for formal portraits. Instead, she approved a small number of face patterns from which multiple images would be created. She was playing around with image and it's just like me going through my Instagram choosing a picture to uh, post on the day and, and do I put a filter on it? I guess this is the modern day Photoshop. It's been suggested that this could be the same outfit Elizabeth wore when she gave her famous speech to the troops at Tilbury, just before the Spanish Armada was due to reach English shores. She would have shimmered and all the gold and diamonds and pearls would have shone, so I guess they would have never seen anything like that before. I myself like a, a few crystals, so <laughs> and they're very effective and, and people respond to them. Human psychology, when we see something bigger or bolder, we're like magpies. You know, when I start to add and put on layers and, and create a, a sculpture, a living sculpture, it does the same kind of thing as this painting. Someone might look at me and go, I've never seen anything like that before. One iconic image, three unique versions. See the Armada portraits of Elizabeth I together for the very first time.